ታውት ማለት ክብሪው ስለ ያለው ንገና እዚ ጽሑፉ እዚ ኢልካል ማነሶ ይግለጽ ካህን ጥራይ ብቻ ላይ ምስጥር ልፈልጦ ዘአርክ ዲስ አፕሬድ አንድ ዊ ዱ ኖት ናው ዎት ሃፕነድ ቱ ኢት ዎት ዎን ፋይንድስ ኪሪየስ ኢዝ ዎት ዘ አርክ ኢዝ ኦል አባውት ኢት ኢዝ ኤፒፋሊ ፈርስት ኦፍ ኦል ዩ ማስት ቢ ዎሽ ፈርስት This is the story of one of the keepers of the ark. By 300 BC there was already a flourishing African civilization in Ethiopia. The ruler of this kingdom was called Queen Sheba or Makeda. She visited the Jewish king Solomon and together they had a son called Menelik the 1st. Mother and son returned to Ethiopia soon after. On attaining manhood, Menelik was taken by the queen to meet his father. After the visit, they returned to Ethiopia with the Ark of the Covenant, a coveted artifact that is considered holy by Judaism and Christianity as a whole. Legend has it that Menelik and Queen Sheba basically stole the Ark and had to hide it somewhere. in their capital city Axum By 434 AD two kings actually twins Abraha and Atsbeha had built magnificent rock churches on the hills of Tigray as places of worship and monuments where replicas of the original ark were and are presumed to be kept In a town named after the two twin kings, Abraha Watsbeha, 530 kilometers north of Addis Ababa, one finds the first church that Abraha and Atsbeha built in 434 AD. This church was the first of about 120 other churches built in the Tigray region. It's carved entirely from rock. and not a single stone block was used these types of churches were built on rock cliffs hidden from any strangers since they were the hiding places of the ark in here one of the custodians of this amazing african heritage still stands guard this is the story of one of the keepers of the ark ملاك غنازي حارس مراتي بحر سمي كون لغنا عدمي لغنا 65 تيو سرح الى لغنا حاده من اي بيت كريستيان ابراها صام حداريه تيك سرعاتن يم حضرو مالتيو كون لغنا بحر شايت كم حارس يبلع مالتي فاذر جينيت هاز سيرفد ان ذيس تشيرش فور مور ذان 40 ييرز ستارتينغ اوف از ا ديكن اند ناو ا بريست اند تشيرش ادمينستريتور اشيتينا يولدنا تمرتي يا قدمي لهم نورنا زي بوتا زي كائنات يوم نيرم على تكهنت بتولدنا مسرت ام هيرومنا يا تهنجنا اغزابير بيت كريستيان نغلغل بصحنا انا تي كهنت مهابي مسلطان اغزابير لهاب نعدل انا الاغزابير مسغناي عبي يعدل هيوني يلبن عبي صقع هيوني عدل يلبن عبي صقع عبي خبر هيوني تمسغن يلل فطر يوم مسغنا معناته At the center of the church is the Holy of Holies. The inner sanctuary where the mysterious Ark of the Covenant is kept 
and the presumed centerpiece of this magnificent ancient structure. Tawat malat kabriyu silalo nigana zi yisufu zi ilkal manaso yigilasan kahin tray bichere mistrul falta. The mystery of the ark is the object of our story. But this man who looks after the ark intrigues our interest even more. Father Gennett has obviously gathered tons of knowledge over the years. Behind his astute character, one senses that as a person who oversees the church, there is much he could reveal to us. Gennett's home is nestled underneath the big red rock cliff, pretty much the type of cliff from which the churches were hewn. Although Father Gennett has the enormous task of looking after the precious treasure, he however lives a rather simple and humble life. Whereas many people here farm mainly cereals and food crops, Father Gennett chose a rather unique crop. He grows an orchard and tends to his fruit trees with care and pride. Farm work is done for today because tomorrow is a special day called Timkat. Timkat is an Amharic word meaning epiphany. Epiphany in the Christian faith means appearance of God in the Holy Spirit symbolized by a white dove. This tradition has been kept and observed for hundreds of generations by the Ethiopian people since the advent of Christianity. Father Guinness' duty is partly to lead the church in remembering this great event. But first, he must go and consult about how the event will be conducted with 86-year-old Father Bere, who lives in a humble cottage barely 100 meters from the ancient church. At 86 years old, Father Bere is, unfortunately, bedridden. He served the church for more than 45 years before arthritis finally confined him to his bed. My name is Father Gabriel Xavier Berhe, Gospel and the Holy Bible preacher. Although his body has let him down physically, mentally he is still very succinct. Before I know the English language, I was a villager. I entered to monastery place in Eritrea. I learned in monastery in a spiritual way. I attended many books, songs, and many things. I stayed until 12 years at the monastery place. But when I saw everything, it can't be fulfilled to my body. I left the monastery. I entered school. 
when i finish my work everything just as it is time arrive just i return back to the church fluent in four international languages english italian french and german father berry handed over the priesthood to father gennett every year a day before tim cut or epiphany since father berry was confined to his bed father gennett visits berry to agree on how the event will be conducted <laughs> They compare thoughts based on what is happening in the village presently. Theirs is a fine relationship where the mentee continues to consult with the mentor. Father Gennett must now confirm that the tents where the Ark of the Covenant will rest has been built by the shores of the river. With just a couple of deacons and volunteers, they erect the tent. All across the villages, the people are preparing to observe this holy day. Mulgita, the local musician, is also busy preparing for the event. He is rehearsing at the local playground. ከጽቡቅ <laughs> ሰሩን <laughs> At the old church, church elders from the surrounding churches have assembled, some from as far as 30 kilometers, and the local villagers have gathered to prepare for the removal of the ark from the church sanctuary. They are preparing for the five-kilometer walk through the villages to the banks of the river. Father Gennett's responsibility is to ensure that everyone is lined up and ready. The Ark of the Covenant is always kept at the center of the procession. It is the centerpiece of this event. What one finds curious is what the Ark is all about. Tawat 
ይቅደስ ይወደስ off camera one of the priests told us that the reason they have so many replicas of the ark is because the original ark had to be hidden and the best way was to hide it in a forest of replicas the best place to hide a tree is in the forest he said so for all intents and purposes we could be witnessing the original ark from solomon's times being ferried by these very worthy holy men there is no report that the ark was carried away or destroyed or hidden the ark disappeared and we do not know what happened to it the most important object is the world Soon the procession has arrived at the spot next to the river. The ark enters the tent and Father Gennett and the other priests from all the other villages will keep vigil all night to guard the ark until the next morning when the actual ceremony will take place. Early morning the elders who have kept vigil are busy saying their prayers while some clean up in preparation for the long day and great ceremony that is to take place we are told that father gennett left at 3 a.m. to catch some sleep so he can manage the day's ceremony meanwhile at the tent preparations are underway and slowly the crowds begin to arrive for the big event Ordinarily in orthodox religion this holy day is considered sacred it used to be considered irreverent to work on such a day but 5 miles away from the timkat celebration mulgita our musician is busy at his farm udirqakh bahaltalasi zinaweren chigir chigir si yegatmen ne yu biz kelakas bigenza hasrat diyu ወይም ብናይ ቤት ስድራ ጸገም ዲዩ ወይ ሐደ ነገር ዲዩ አርኪዮኑ ወን ነይር ዩ ካፍቲ ነረ ድርቅስ ለኸ ነው ጽና ገደኝ today mulgita like many of his countrymen have taken up farming fully to the point that ethiopia has become self sufficient in food production but for now mulgita must make his way to the celebration of timkat where the whole village has now assembled and the prayers have begun in earnest the whole village is represented here timkat is a commemorative event it's a reminder about an event that took place more than 2000 years ago in a faraway land but which has become such an integral part of the people's traditions the priest leads the prayers the audience repeat the chants and then again the priest leads in the reading of scriptures alti lo malti wot malta alta magallo boy ta akbara sel tma galla sel tma galla ta malti hizbe christian ሃይማኖታዊ ወልሐዘ ቦጻ የለ በኢትዮጵያ የለ ማን ነው ለሃይማኖታዊ ወልሐዘ 11 ጥሪ ይኽበር አጀታ ስለ ተጠመቀላ ተማልቲ The ceremony now moves closer to the river and the priest places a burning cloth into the water አም ሳይያ ተባሐር ባሐርላ ተሐጢያ ተዋልላ ታ እምን ነረ እምን ርካ ቤት ባህል ለገለ ደም ሲሱ ጀታ ወጺ መብራቲ ሒዙ ወጺ ያለ አደም ሄዋ ነው ወጺ ለም ገነተ እቲ ወ መፍት መብራቲ ለሎ ቦታ ማለት ያም ሳያ ተመራቲ finally it's time for all to symbolically get rebaptized again it's a free for all event but the ones who really experienced the dip 
are the young children. They get the full immersion. It is epiphany. The name Temkat means it's epiphany. But we have different kinds also the Temkat. You can spread your water, you can, or you also you can dive yourself, or some people also they can baptize. Yeah? The, uh, the priest you can, like the son of the Adventist, they do like that. First of all, you must be wash yourself. If you do not wash yourself, you can't enter to many people. But if you are clean man, everyone can want to impress you. And Timkat also, this is a Morandi, my dear. You must be holy. This is the Lord Christ say like that. We must holify ourselves in everything. After the immersion in the river and several symbolic baths, the whole village settles to celebrate with a meal and in an amazing display of true spirit of community, love and sharing, dots of villagers gather in groups to eat the food that they had brought with them to share together. Could it be that it's because of the fact that they have kept their traditions and that religion has served to cement a sense of belonging? Everyone, in spite of class and status, shares in the opportunity, and this generosity is extended to the poor who are busy getting food from everyone. After the meals, the tents must be brought down. The ark must begin the journey back to its rightful place. The whole village is in song and dance and they begin to file once again, heading back to the sanctuary. Once again, the ark is at the center of the travel back. Father Bere and Gennett agree on many things but on one issue about the significance of the Ark, there is a difference of opinion. The lost ark. What does it mean? Lost is not. The ark of covenant is no, no one can see it or no one can get it. But I'm the Balazis, but I'm a bank of tenants, bro. Breast ark. But I'm at Baal. I know it's a little less a Although observing these religious traditions has kept the community together, through Mulgita and the youth, one senses the fading away of traditions. The real meaning of the event is lost to him. <laughs> By now, the Ark is safely inside the old church again. But one still wonders what really is the Ark. 
what is inside it and where in the world did the original ark get hidden tawot endegana na men mohani tsafay abna tawot weyna mikael tahoynu weyna gabriel tahoynu weyna mariam tahoynu galile tsafallo khagles gna yekhali lakal morku endegana khagles yekhalen hawr endegana izi hawr ilka khagles yekhalen Although Gennet is deeply religious, he is still open to the obvious change that is coming with modern education through his sons. Yaw doktor na khamhor to khoynam degna doktor na khamhorom ye faqadallo mallen malati khamhorom ye wotsa khabaye malati doktor na khamhor to khoynam wotsa khabaye binaye dereje am khodu yaw botila be dikuna kisha kisna mariho malati tina yote christian yaver la hago gegro hone كله سماي مريل فطره اغزابير قاشداني ا تنهي اغزابير حدي كلا كلي كزم برت مرت كن ياو تقلالو امالي خد سنهطو سلا لو هنا يمبا امالي خدلو تي تفوليت لا بنو سي تكبيو تي لبسو غي تكبيو كل تاينت فادر جينيتس ديليما ريبريزنتس ذا ايج اولد ستراغل ان افريكا بين مودرنيتي ان فورن ادوكيشن اغينست ذا ابانونينغ اوف اولد كالتشورال ريليجيوس براكتيسز اند تراديشنز but the good people of Abraha Watsbeha are managing this delicate balance by keeping tradition through religion and so Mulgita continues to entertain his people with his music that has been passed on from generation to generation The bedridden Father Bere continues, even in spite of his sickly state, to serve his people and to point them to God. Don't seek the arch. The arch is in your heart. About this time, they say, you know, about 200 writers, they wrote on the ark. They wrote, they wrote, they wrote, they became on this bank, just they didn't close. Why? They wrote, they wrote, they wrote, they didn't close. From this 200 or 400 writers about the lost ark, they didn't classify it. Maybe in the Jews, in, the, their, in, in them, themselves, maybe. But you can't find, and you can't search just to get an ark or something like that. The ark is, this is, the word of your Lord Jesus Christ. What is the ark? Nabraza? What is the ark? Naksu? What is the ark? In the nature of don't waste your time, your, your money, or don't waste your money. On Father Gennett continues to keep the traditions. His job as the keeper of the ark is multifaceted. In a trip to the local museum in the church where Father Gennett insists we must see, he gathers a group of young Ethiopians and shows them the significance of all the old artifacts. He is keeping the knowledge of tradition and religion going strong. Father Gennett continues to ensure that the world, and indeed the future generation, recognizes that Ethiopia has an incredibly rich historical heritage. Hopefully, this will continue to keep the communities together for hundreds of years to come, even if we do not unravel the mystery of the Ark of the Covenant.